page 128. We've got mail. Dear Side by Side, I have a question about tenses and reported speech. I understand that this is the correct way to say each of these sentences. He said that he was hungry. She told me that she was sick. They said that they were engaged. However, I often hear English speakers say, He said that he is hungry. She told me that she is sick. They said that they are engaged. Are both ways correct? I'm very confused. Sincerely, Tense About Reported Speech. Dear Tense About Reported Speech, The first way to say these sentences is grammatically correct. However, in informal speech, the second way is also correct, especially when the person is reporting about something that someone has just said. We also break the rule when we talk about facts that are always true. For example, we knew that Paris is the capital of France. The teacher said that the Amazon is the longest river. We hope this answers your question. Thanks for writing. Sincerely, Side by Side. Page 128. Global Exchange. You won't believe what my neighbor in the apartment across the hall told me today. She said I was the noisiest person in our building. She told me that I played the drums too loud at night. She said that I had too many parties on weekends. And she asked me if I knew that dogs weren't allowed in the building. I told her that she had made a mistake and that she had mixed me up with our neighbor down the hall. After all, I don't play the drums, I never have parties, and I don't have a dog. She apologized, and we had a nice conversation after that. I told her that if she wanted, I would go with her to talk to our noisy neighbor. That should be an interesting conversation. Page 128. Listening. You have six messages. Joe Montero is the office manager at his company. Listen to his voicemail messages. Why did each person call? You have six messages. Message number one. Hello, this is Jim Gavin. I'm one of the new employees on the third floor. I have a question. Why was $350 taken out of my paycheck? If you have time today, could you please call me at extension 45? Thanks very much. Message number two. Hi, this is Denise. I'm sorry, but I won't be able to go to the meeting this afternoon. I just found out about the meeting a half hour ago and I have to pick up the boss at the airport. Let me know how the meeting goes. Message number three. Hi, Joe. This is Patty in accounting. I see that you've just ordered 1,000 pens for the office. I'm calling to let you know that we still have enough pens from our last order, so we won't need any more pens for a few more months. I've canceled the order. Okay? Thanks. Message number four. Hello. This is Jane Adams calling from the President's office. You told me yesterday that the painters would begin painting the President's office today, but they haven't arrived yet. Please let me know when they'll be here. 
Thank you. Message number five. Hello. This is George Johnson. I wanted to let you know that I won't be in the office tomorrow morning. I have to go to a doctor's appointment. If you need to talk to me, you can reach me on my cell phone at 881-595-7472. Thanks. Message number six. Joe, this is Michelle Mills. I really need to talk with you as soon as possible. I've been offered a job at another company, and I don't know what to do. I'd really like to stay here, but they're offering me a job with more responsibilities and a higher salary. Please call me back so we can set up a time to meet. Thanks.